as I lay in dark despair, with earthly pain I cannot bear, I think of fate's cruel offering and ponder words of suffering, like Dante's hell that demons share and Poe's black bird that came from there. Oh, he had lost his sweet Lenore, but I have suffered so much more. But still, the more I ruminate, I hear that raven at my gate. How can my life be now restored, but chides the raven nevermore? And as he nests within my tree, he caws to call more enemies. The raven's flock sings underscores their hopeless verse of nevermores. The tree now filled with birds of sly, they hide the sun from dawn and sky. And with those shouts of nevermore, they wage a sort of anti-war. Not with swords or weapons drawn, but where one's hope to fight is gone. Until one day, with desperate cry, I call beyond the darkened sky. Who through this could break the night and bring me back the hope of light? And then appears with humble might another bird in awesome flight. The raven's flock withdraws in fear, a lowly dove draws ever near. And though its voice is soft and low, it penetrates my troubled soul. Who will guide you through this moor? The one who's called forevermore. I wept with fear upon my face, for I did not deserve this grace. But soft the dove came hovering and made his wing my covering. Who calls you child, the most adored, the one who's called forevermore? Do not believe the words of crows, their nevermores or lies of prose. There's but one truth to nevermore, but that truth raps on Raven's door. Thanks for watching. This video is available for download for use with your ministry or special event from sermonspice.com. Just click the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much.